so sorry. Hey everyone, I'm Rebecca and welcome to Watch Mojo. Today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most rewatched reunion scenes in movies. It opens my mouth, what came out was a song. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it! Bo! I Pete. never thought I'd see you again. Oh. For this list, we're looking at specific scenes in film where characters are finally reunited, and we just can't stop watching these moments again and again. Because we are discussing some pretty big plot points from a lot of these films, a spoiler alert is now in effect. So, what are your favorite reunions in movies? Let us know in the comments. All right, let's get to it. If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10, Arthur Curry and Atlanta, Aquaman. Atlanta's murdered my mother. You don't know that for sure. Yes, I do. They killed her for loving you and having me. From the onset of the 2018 Aquaman movie, it's clear that Arthur Curry believes his mom died at the hands of the Atlanteans. Rejecting all things Atlantis, Arthur has taken on his own mission of thwarting pirates and other criminals. So it comes as a surprise when he accompanies Mera to Atlantis and then eventually to Italy, seeking out the Trident of Atlan. Romulus, first king of Rome. Only in the hands of a true king can he truly see. After being transported deep beneath the ocean, much to Arthur's surprise, he finds his mother alive. As the camera cuts between Arthur and Atlanta, you can clearly see the disbelief in both of them. Having settled on the idea of never seeing each other again, we're presented with an unexpected but warming family reunion. Arthur. <sighs> Number 9. Marty McFly and Emmett Doc Brown – Back to the Future Part 3 When the pennant string flags landed on the ground, we all wondered, where did Doc Brown go? Thanks to a letter, we learn that Doc made it to 1885 and has hidden the DeLorean for Marty to find and return home. Dear Marty, if my calculations are correct, you will receive this letter immediately after you saw the DeLorean struck by lightning. First, let me assure you that I am alive and well. I've been living happily these past eight months in the year 1885. Marty opts to instead take a trip back to the Old West to help his friend. Playing off similar gags from the previous two films, he gets himself into a mess, but lo and behold, a quick shot from Doc and Marty is saved. Well, shoot the fleas off a dog's back at 500 yards, Tannen, and it's pointed straight at your head! His reaction to seeing Doc is nowhere near as shocking as his return to a new 1985 in the first movie. Mom, Dad, what, Marty, did you hit your you head? Right? You guys, you guys look great! It is, however, quite warming to see these two long-lost friends finally coming back together. Marty, I gave you explicit instructions not to come here but to go directly back to 1985. I know, Doc, but I had to come. But it's good to see you, Marty. Number 8. Kevin McAllister and his family, Home Alone Haven't you ever had moments where you wished your family would just disappear? After being punished for unruly behavior at home, Kevin McAllister made such a wish. You'd feel pretty sad if you woke up tomorrow morning and you didn't have a family. No, I wouldn't. Then say it again. Maybe it'll happen. I hope I never see any jerks again! Except this time, he woke up to an empty house and a life full of unrestraint. Without any parents around, Kevin is free to watch as much TV and eat junk food to his heart's content. However, that same heart eventually yearns for his family as he puts up a Christmas tree in stockings, all while still home alone. I didn't mean it. If you come back, I'll never be a pain in the butt again. I promise. Good night. When his mom and family finally return, we get to see the relief on Kevin's face, because he now knows that family is far better than having to thwart off any burglars or go out to get groceries. Oh, Kevin, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. 
Number 7. Lori Strode and Michael Myers, Halloween Since 1978, there have been 11 movies in the Halloween franchise. <laughs> In 2018, a direct sequel to the original effectively retconned all of the other films in the series. For this version, Laurie Strode has been living the last 40 years as an agoraphobic alcoholic, constantly in fear of Michael Myers' return. When she learns of his escape from a psychiatric facility and a subsequent attack at a costume party, Laurie rushes to help her granddaughter. Get out of here! Now! Get inside! It's here that Lori's worst nightmare comes to fruition. The sheer look of terror and disbelief on her face when she sees Michael's reflection in a mirror is enough to tingle your spine. Jamie Lee Curtis's fear is palpable as she shatters the mirror with a gunshot. Number 6. Rapunzel and her parents Tangled You know the story. A girl whose hair holds magical powers is locked up in a tower for years upon years. With help from Mother Gothel, the witch who kidnapped her as a baby and has been the one holding her prisoner all this time, Rapunzel has developed a phobia of the outside world. But the lanterns she sees in the sky once a year are a signal that just maybe that outside world could be filled with magic after all. Accompanied by a scamp named Flynn Rider, real name Eugene, Rapunzel sets out to see those lanterns up close. You mean the lantern thing they do for the princess? But what she actually finds is her true identity as the Princess of Corona, and the long-lost loving parents who have been releasing those lanterns for their beloved daughter ever since she went missing all those years ago. Talk about a fairy tale reunion. <laughs> Number 5. Mama Coco and Her Parents Coco No music! No music! I think we're the only family in Mexico who hates music. In this Pixar delight, we meet Miguel, a young man who travels to the land of the dead to discover the true meaning of eternal life. It's there that he meets Hector, his great-grandmother Coco's father whom she's beginning to forget. I can help you. You can help me. We can help each other. But most importantly, you can help me. Miguel! I'm Hector. Uh, that's not... Yeah. As Hector begins to blink out of existence, Miguel learns when the living forget the dead, they're gone forever. With an unconditional blessing, Miguel returns to the living just in time to play a song Hector once sang as a lullaby to Coco. She smiles, and a year later, we see her reunited with her parents in the Land of the Dead. It's a touching reunion and a reminder that as long as we're remembered, we're never really gone. Number 4. Marlin and Nemo – Finding Nemo Children often feel the need to rebel against their parents. So to you other kids all across the land, there's no need to argue, parents just don't understand. For Nemo, this comes on his first day of school when he swims out into open water, against his overprotective father Marlin's wishes. D don't you dare! If you put one fin on that boat, are you listening to me? Don't touch the boat. Nemo! He touched the butt. Unfortunately, he's caught by a diver and is soon whisked away by boat. Over the course of the rest of the movie, we get to see both Marlin and Nemo come to terms with how much they really mean to each other now that they're separated by an ocean. So when they finally reunite, not only is the audience in relief, but both father and son have a newfound respect for each other. Nemo? Yeah! Nemo's alive! Tori? <gasps> Nemo! Yay! Nemo! I'm coming, Nemo! Yay! Nemo! Yay! Oh, thank goodness. It's all right, son. It's gonna be okay. This also, of course, led to a sequel with a similar heartwarming reunion of Dory with her parents. Hello. I'm Dory! Dory! <laughs> oh, my baby! Let me look at you. I'm never letting you go again. Number 3. Andy Dufresne and Ellis Boyd Red Redding – The Shawshank Redemption After Andy Dufresne is convicted of murder, he spends almost two decades behind bars. He finds a good friend in Ellis Red Redding, who has a knack for getting things people want. Although abused repeatedly behind bars, Andy finds a place for himself within the walls of the prison, and shares his dream of living out his life in Mexico with Red. To what in hell? It's in Mexico. A little place on the Pacific Ocean. 
When Red suspects Andy desires to take his own life, it's an even bigger surprise to find out he's escaped. Although happy for his friend, Red misses him dearly. So when Red is paroled a year later and the two finally reunite on a beach in Mexico, it's not just jailmates reconnecting, it's two brothers finally being free and happy. Number 2. Han Solo and General Leia Organa Star Wars Episode 7: The Force Awakens Return of the Jedi came out in 1983. It wasn't until 2015 and The Force Awakens that we finally got to see what's happened in all that time. When the second teaser trailer dropped, fans were ecstatic to see Han and Chewie again. Chewie, we're home. As exciting as that moment was, it could not compare to seeing Leia hop off a transport only to lock eyes on Han standing there waiting for her. Then there was a long and warm stare followed by a smirk and a comment about his jacket. You change your hair. Same jacket. These characters had aged, but our memories of them hadn't. It was a moment fans had been waiting decades for, and easily eclipsed her short reunion with her brother in The Last Jedi. I know what you're gonna say. I changed my hair. It's nice that way. And it's tough to beat the chemistry between Han and Leia, but there is one cinematic matchup that does. So let's look through some honorable mentions, and then we'll see which movie reunion we rewatch the most. Shrek, Princess Fiona, and the kids. Shrek Forever After. How many times can a kiss cure everything in fairy tales? Shrek? Are you okay? Oh, Ooh. Fiona. I've never been better. Woody and Bo Peep, Toy Story 4. A couple of long stares followed by awkward conversation. Bo? Oh, I can't believe it's Bo you. Peep. I never thought I'd see you again. <laughs> Frank and Barry, Sausage Party. The gods can be killed. I blew it. Hey, does it mean it's too late to redeem yourself? Take it from me. Barry. Barry? Is this real? You're alive! Jonathan Traeger and Sarah Thomas. Serendipity. Apparently, fate costs $5 and one book. Good now you're here. Bright in my northern sky. I'm Sarah. Dr. Christopher James Chris Nielsen and Annie Collins Nielsen. What dreams may come. The truest love spans both heaven and hell. Number one, Tony Stark and Peter Parker, Avengers Endgame. Although it was awesome to finally hear, Avengers! Assemble. Avengers Endgame was certainly packed with other family reunions. Tony spent time with his dad in 1970, while Thor got to have a real goodbye with his mother on Asgard. I'm totally from the future. Yeah, I really need to talk to you. Sometimes, though, family isn't something you're born into. At the end of Infinity War, when Peter says to Tony, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Sir, please. Please, I don't want to go. I don't want to go. And then falls to the ground and dusts away, you can see the depth of the loss on Tony's face. Which is why, when Spidey swoops in to help Iron Man stand up in Endgame, Tony is speechless. His face is lit up with elation as he listens to Peter ramble, but quickly succumbs to hugging Peter, reminding fans that in the end, it's the people close to us that matter. And then he started doing the yellow sparkly thing that he does all the time. What are you doing? Oh, this is nice. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.